Where did you come up with this idea? Well, uh, it's been in my mind for quite a while and lockdown gave me the opportunity to have a lot of time to occupy our residence. There were no families around visiting, so my manager gave me free reign and I just got on with choosing the residence, taking the photos, making sure all the staging was there and it came together. Free reign to be creative, that's the key. Though, So how did they respond though at first? I mean, when you pitched this to them, did they all jump on board or were some of them thinking, uh, I'm not really comfortable with the Bowie makeup and the cameras on me? The uh, residents know me quite well by now. Uh, they know how mad I am. They know I come up with these crazy ideas and they generally just go with it. And this was just another idea that they said, Let's, yeah, whatever you've got planned, let's do it. So there I was painting the Bowie flash on a, a resident's face. It's amazing because, you know, we've, we've had to talk about over the course of this pandemic for months, really how to keep kids mostly entertained, kids that should be in school. Little did we think about the adults that have actually been struggling, and especially those people in elderly care homes. So did you have to put together kind of an arsenal of projects to make sure uh, they didn't get desperately lonely and depressed and sad for four months without seeing other people and being locked in the home. Yeah, that's an excellent point because residents in care homes seem to have been forgotten about around the world, especially in England. Uh, it was almost like a second thought. Whereas these people have lived through world wars, they've lived through a host of different things. They're in their 90s, they're in the hundreds. They need to be given respect and activities have changed massively during the pandemic and they should be given this respect. And my job is to make sure they are well cared for and have a lot of fun. So I hope I've achieved that through this project. That is your job and you, you love your job. And that's so important because, it, I mean, that kind of creativity, it just shows you actually really care about what you do. Now, you've gotten so much coverage uh, for that creativity, but has that been turning into the kind of donations you wanted to see for, for the dementia cause uh, you've dedicated this to? So this was only supposed to be a little bit of fun for the families to see, and then I thought I'd share it with my friends. And obviously the, the global response has been absolutely incredible. It's been so positive. And if we can make some money for a charity out of this, then it is just a bonus. The residents are all for making as much money as possible. So now this has gone global. We're just asking anybody who wants to, anybody who can, anybody who likes these photos, please donate to our GoFundMe page. And we just hope we can raise as much as possible. So you got the attention, Robert, and now the pressure is on. What are you going to do next? All I'd say is just watch this space because I have a lot of ideas up there. Suspense. I love it. Okay, Robert, thanks so much for being with us. We really appreciate it and great news.